What's up guys, welcome back. So we're here with Ryan Held. Most of you guys know him for crying on the podium <laughs> at the Olympics. Do you, yeah. do you hate it when people like bring that no, up? No, not really. Okay. No, it's, all, it's, okay. no, it's just, it's all in good fun. Sweet. But um, we're just gonna ask Ryan a couple questions so you guys can get to know him. And um, I don't know if you can tell, but we're here in Monaco and the view is incredible. Beautiful. Okay, so first question, what advice would you give your 16 year old self? Uh, I'd just say like, Believe in yourself. Uh, when I was 16, I wasn't like any. I wasn't on the junior national team. I wasn't like top 100 or anything. I was pretty average for the state of Illinois. Um, I was good short course, but not long course. And that's what all the criteria is met on is long course. Right. And so I would just say, just believe in yourself. You know, you you are good enough. Like, just give it time. Like, you can't compare yourself now or when you were 16 to the studs right, that exactly. are in the Olympics. Just Give it time and believe in yourself. That's huge. Uh, what keeps you motivated? Uh, just wanting to be the best. Right. Wanting to, uh, just today I, I got fourth in the 100 free and I was so mad because I wanted to be on the podium. I wanted to be kind of in the spotlight for the work that I put in. Yeah, uh, yeah, so just honestly just wanting to be the best, wanting to have my names in the history book yeah. keeps me going for sure. And this is kind of an added on question. So obviously after a really good Olympics, when you came home, was that motivation easy to find again, or was there kind of a, a slump? No, it was it was definitely hard to find. Um, it was definitely a slump. Uh, I I was al almost almost too confident in myself. Right. So leading up to the Olympics, when I was swimming, if I didn't do like a good turn, I'd be like in practice, say, okay, no, I, I, I'm gonna re, okay, I'm gonna spend the next five right. minutes yeah. after practice yeah. perfect that turn. But after Rio, I was like, you know, I'm an Olympian. I'm an Olympian. Yeah, my I'm turns gonna, are great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna brush that off and. I really didn't actually have that good of a summer last mm -hmm. year, 2017. Oh, that's good to hear. Um, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? Mm, without price range? Honestly, yeah, no price without range. price range, I would live here in Monaco. It is beautiful. Um, it is just absolutely stunning. The sunset right now is incredible. And, uh, but if it's before this weekend, I'd probably have to say, hmm. I've always loved Seattle. Seattle's always a special city in my heart. Seattle, nice. Um, if you could turn any activity into an Olympic sport, what would you have a good chance at winning a medal? Yeah, this one was hard. Um, besides swimming, I love mountain biking, but that's already an Olympic sport, and biking is already an Olympic sport. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess by nine, my third hobby, is I guess I, I a lot of my hobbies are already try like Olympic sports yeah, like triathlon. Cool. What do you think you uh, have the best chance of winning medal then, if it's not an Olympic sport? Uh, probably bicycling. Really? Yeah. I didn't know you cycle so much. Oh yeah, yeah. It's so like mount, mostly mountain bike. Or uh, BMX mountains, or? No, not BMX. Yeah. Mountains, uh, road bike. Huh. Uh, I used cool. to do a lot of stuff. That's awesome. I'm just getting into cycling. Yeah, I love it. Um, what's the title of the current chapter of your life? Uh, um, it'd be along something along the lines of like, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's tough to come up yeah, with a title. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like you're you're here now, and you don't understand. I don't know, like maybe something like you are here. Okay. Uh, so even though like I am in. in Tour in Europe and you go on the international. Um, and I've swam like pretty good, uh, but obviously I'm not rested or tapered or anything. So just kind of like, you know, you're here. You're in this time right. zone. Exactly. You're you're enjoying yourself. You're seeing this beautiful country. Um, like the swimming will come. Just right, for, sure. for right now, you're Being here. here mm -hmm. That's awesome. Um, last question before some rapid fire. What do you want to be remembered for? <sighs> I want to be remembered for a good teammate, just yeah. good overall, just good right. person, good in the swimming pool, a friendly face. Um, but yeah, I'd really like to be remembered through my college team as right. like a good leader. That's cool. Well, I can vouch for that, guys. He's an awesome teammate. Because I've, I've first time rooming with you or even yeah. doing any trip with you. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. So <laughs> good teammate. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> rapid questions here: pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. Driving or flying? Driving. City living or country living? Country living. Text message or phone call? Uh, text message. <laughs> Library or museums? 
Museums. Tear coffee. Tea. Rain or snow. Snow. Singing or dancing. Oh, singing. <laughs> Burgers or tacos. Ooh, uh, tacos, tacos. Okay, swim swam or swimming world? Swim swam. Money or fame? Money. Money, yeah. Awesome. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Everybody, Ryan Held. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for joining us. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, leave your comments down below if there's any other questions or any other people you guys would like to hear from. We'll see you next time. Cheers. See ya. Sweet. Ah, sweet.